believe it. Yeah, I think they could patch it up pretty good. Tonight, holding out hope on the word of Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. Within two weeks, he says six temporary lanes are expected to open on I-95, allowing traffic to resume once again along that stretch of highway closed now for a full week. Sunday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story in Action News at 10 is the progress made just one week after the I-95 bridge collapse in the Taconi section of Philadelphia. This is a live look at the construction site where crews have piled up layers and layers of metal caging and a special recycled glass material to make those impending temporary lanes. Now is a waiting game to see if the governor's two-week promise holds true. Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher joins us live from Taconi. And Brianna, you spoke with people who are cautiously optimistic about this timeline. Yeah, Walter, and crews are out here right now as they continue to work 24-7. And we spoke with a lot of people today. Many of them have faith in this two-week timetable. Others, not so much. I believe it when I see it. I think they can do it. I'm just a little nervous about the temporary fix. You know, like what type of highway it is and can it sustain all that weight? Considering the partial collapse of I-95 was just last week, crews have made significant progress. Drone 6 captures the work being done today, leveling off the temporary middle lanes. The rendering shows what this portion of the highway is expected to look like in just two weeks. I'm optimistically uh, a little skeptical. I, I hope that it's two weeks. Wouldn't be surprised if it's more than two weeks. That'd be awesome, though, I'm, and I'm glad that they're prioritizing the the fixing it. President Biden was joined by Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro yesterday for an aerial tour of the partial collapse of 95. I told the governor there's no more important project right now in the country as far as I'm concerned. Governor Shapiro credits the union trade workers for the significant progress. The men and women of organized labor who are rebuilding this roadway. The Philadelphia building trades, all of our union tradesmen and women, are doing an unbelievable job. But still, commuters will have to continue making adjustments to their daily routes for a little while longer. Because I don't want to get caught up in any uh, jam-packed traffic, so I avoid, I pretty much do 76 as much as possible, or just take the back street. Drive time, like, coming from here to go to work, it'd be, like, maybe less than, like, 10 minutes. Now it's like, I got to get up, like, an extra hour and a half early just so I can beat the traffic. Now, officials say crews are making fast progress in the rebuild of 95 and will continue to work 24 7 through the holiday weekend to get everything reopened. Now we're live in Taconi, Brianna Gallagher, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. Okay, Brianna, thank you. As we enter